Hey there, Electricity Frenzy fam. It's your go-to source for all things buzzing with energy. Today, we're diving into a hot topic, literally. We're talking about electric motor overheating. It's something that can sneak up on you, whether you're tinkering in your garage or relying on heavy machinery at work. So, stick around as we break down the sings. I mean, signs, causes, and solutions to keep your motors running cool. Let's get charged up. First off, why should you even care about your motor getting a bit too toasty? Well, overheating can lead to all sorts of trouble, from reduced efficiency and performance to the ultimate motor meltdown. And nobody wants that, right? So, how do you know if your motor is throwing a temperature tantrum? Here are the signs you should watch out for. 1. Excessive heat. If your motor feels like it's been sunbathing in the Sahara, it's a clear sign. 2. Strange smells. Caught a whiff of something burning? That's your motor crying for help. 3. Weird noises. Any unusual sounds like humming or buzzing could mean troubles. Let's break these signs down. Excessive heat. When we say a motor feels like it's been sunbathing in the Sahara, we're painting a picture of just how hot it can get. Electric motors are designed to operate within a certain temperature range, and while they naturally generate heat as they run, there's a limit to what's considered normal. If the casing is too hot to touch, the heat is escaping into the air around it like a mini desert sun, that's a clear red flag. This excessive heat can damage internal components, degrade insulation, and shorten the motor's lifespan. Strange smells. Now, about those strange smells, imagine you're catching hints of something burning, but there's no fire in sight. This could be the smell of insulation or wiring getting too hot inside the motor. These components are made of materials that can emit a distinct, often acrid, smell when they overheat or start to burn. This is a distress signal from your motor, indicating that it's not just running hot, it's running dangerously hot and potentially causing internal damage. Weird noises. Unusual sounds, such as humming, buzzing, or even grinding, can indicate several issues, but when paired with overheating, they suggest specific troubles. For instance, a humming noise might mean that the motor is laboring under an excessive load or struggling with electrical issues that cause it to overheat. Buzzing could point to electrical imbalances or bad bearing. These sounds are like the motor's way of verbally expressing distress, indicating that internal components are under stress or operating outside of their normal parameters, bringing it all together. Each of these signs, excessive heat, strange smells, weird noises, and performance issues, serves as an important warning that an electric motor is not operating as it should. Ignoring these signs can lead to more severe problems, including motor failure, which can be costly and dangerous. Recognizing these early warning signals and addressing the underlying issues promptly can save time, money, and ensure the longevity and reliable operation of your electric motor. Now, let's get to the root of the problem. What's cooking your motor? There are a few usual suspects. 1. Overload. Pushing your motor harder than it can handle is like running a marathon in a snowsuit. It's going to get hot. 2. Poor ventilation. Motors need to breathe too. Blocked or insufficient airflow is a no-go. 3. Electrical issues. Faulty wiring or incorrect voltage can add unwanted spice to the mix. 4. Environmental factors. Working in high temperatures or dirty conditions can turn up the heat. 5. Lack of maintenance. Neglecting your motor is like ignoring a simmering pot. Eventually, it'll boil over. Overload. Imagine you're running a marathon, but you're doing it in a snowsuit. Not only is the snowsuit cumbersome, but it also traps heat, making it incredibly difficult and causing you to overheat much faster than you normally would. This is akin to what happens when an electric motor is overloaded. Motors are designed to handle specific loads, and when they're pushed beyond those limits, they generate excess heat. This is because the electrical current flowing through the motor increases to meet the demand, causing the motor to work harder and, consequently, heat up. Continuous overload can lead to overheating, which stresses the motor's components, potentially leading to premature failure. Poor ventilation. Just as humans need to breathe, electric motors need proper airflow to dissipate heat. When ventilation is blocked or insufficient, the motor can't cool down effectively. Imagine being in a crowded room with no ventilation, it quickly becomes stuffy and uncomfortable as the heat generated by bodies can't escape. Similarly, a motor surrounded by obstructions or with a clogged cooling system will trap heat inside. This lack of airflow prevents heat from being carried away from the motor, leading to overheating and potentially causing thermal damage to the motor's internals. Electrical issues. Electrical issues such as faulty wiring or incorrect voltage can indeed add unwanted spice to the mix. 
Faulty wiring can cause short circuits or poor connections that lead to increased resistance within the motor's electrical circuit. This increased resistance forces the motor to use more energy to perform its tasks, generating additional heat in the process. Similarly, incorrect voltage can stress the motor, too low, and the motor overworks to maintain performance, too high, and excess current heats the motor. Both scenarios are like adding fuel to a fire, where the fire is the motor's operating temperature. Environmental factors. Operating in high temperatures or dirty conditions essentially turns up the heat on your motor. In an already hot environment, the motor has less opportunity to cool down because the ambient air used for cooling is warmer than ideal. It's like trying to cool down a hot drink with lukewarm water, it's not very effective. Dirty conditions can exacerbate the problem by clogging filters and reducing the efficiency of any cooling mechanisms, whether they're fans or heat sinks. Dust and debris can also insulate components, trapping heat. This scenario forces the motor to operate in a pressure cooker environment, where it's constantly battling against external factors to maintain a safe operating temperature. Lack of maintenance. Ignoring maintenance on your motor is akin to ignoring a simmering pot on the stove. Just as the pot will eventually boil over if left unattended, a motor will boil over if it's not properly maintained. Regular maintenance includes cleaning, ensuring cooling systems are unobstructed, checking and tightening electrical connections, and verifying that the motor is operating within its load specifications. Neglecting these steps allows problems to build up over time, reducing the motor's efficiency and increasing its operating temperature. Eventually, this neglect can lead to overheating and failure, as the motor's components degrade or fail under the stress of operating outside their intended parameters. Broken cooling fans. A cooling fan is an integral component of an electric motor's cooling system, designed to help dissipate heat generated during the motor's operation. Motors produce heat in normal operation. The cooling fan's role is to ensure this heat is effectively removed from the motor to prevent overheating. To prevent overheating caused by a broken cooling fan, regular maintenance and inspections are crucial. This includes checking the fan's condition, ensuring it's free from debris, and replacing it if it's damaged or malfunctioning. Feeling the heat? Don't sweat it. Here's how you can chill things down and keep your motor in the cool club. 1. Proper installation. Make sure your motor is set up correctly from the get-go. Alignment and balance are key. 2. Regular maintenance. Keep it clean, folks. Dust and debris are the enemies of airflow. 3. Check cooling fans. Regular check cooling fans to help dissipate heat. 4. Monitor load. Keep an eye on the motor's load. If it's consistently overloaded, consider upgrading to a beefier model. 5. Check electrical connections. Ensure wiring and connections are tight and right. An electrician can be your best friend here. 6. Monitor motor voltage. Make sure the motor voltage is not too low or too high. Proper installation. Ensure your motor is installed correctly, with attention to alignment and balance. This means making sure the motor is securely mounted and that all components are properly aligned. Misalignment can lead to excessive vibration, which not only stresses the motor's bearings and other components but also can generate additional heat. Correct installation also involves selecting the right motor for the job, ensuring it's capable of handling the expected load without being pushed beyond its limits. Regular maintenance. Regular maintenance is key to preventing overheating. This includes cleaning, keep the motor and its components clean from dust, debris, and any other materials that might clog cooling vents or degrade components. A buildup of dirt can act as insulation, trapping heat within the motor. Inspection. Regularly inspect the motor for signs of wear, damage, or anything unusual. Pay special attention to bearings, brushes, in the case of brushed motors, and the integrity of wiring and connections. Lubrication. Ensure that moving parts are adequately lubricated according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Proper lubrication reduces friction, which in turn reduces the amount of heat generated during operation. Monitor load. It's crucial to continuously monitor the motor's load to ensure it's not consistently operating at or near its maximum capacity. If a motor is frequently overloaded, it may be necessary to upgrade. Consider upgrading to a motor with a higher capacity that can handle the load more comfortably. Redistribute load. If possible, redistribute the load among multiple motors to prevent any single motor from being overloaded. Check electrical connections. Ensuring that all electrical connections are correct and secure can prevent overheating due to electrical issues. This involves regular checks, periodically check all electrical connections for tightness and signs of corrosion or damage. Loose connections can cause arcing and increased resistance, leading to overheating. Proper voltage and wiring, 
verify that the motor is receiving the correct voltage as specified by the manufacturer and that all wiring is up to code and in good condition. Incorrect voltage or damaged wiring can lead to inefficiencies in heat generation. Final thoughts. By addressing these key areas, installation, maintenance, cooling, load management, and electrical integrity, you can significantly reduce the risk of motor overheating. This proactive approach not only extends the life of your motor but also ensures it operates efficiently and safely, saving you from costly downtime and repairs. Always refer to the manufacturer's guidelines for specific maintenance routines and operational recommendations to keep your motor running cool. Armed with this knowledge, you're now ready to tackle motor overheating head-on. Remember, a cool motor is a happy motor, and a happy motor means a smooth running project or business. If you've got any tips, stories, or questions about motor overheating, drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more electrifying content right here on Electricity Frenzy. Stay energized, and we'll see you in the next video.